Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time having a walk on a Saturday afternoon through Luang Prabang in Laos. It's a glorious day and in this video I'm going to tell you three reasons, yes, three reasons why I will not be retiring in Thailand. I'm going into Thailand very, very soon, but I won't be retiring there on a long-term basis. So, um, let me just say first of all that I love Thailand. I think it's an absolutely wonderful country. I love it a bit and I will always want to visit there. But in terms of long-term retirement, it's not on the menu for me. So there's three main reasons for that. And let me first of all just say, okay, cost. Uh, the cost of living in Thailand, right? Now let me hereby declare that the cost of living in Thailand, Thailand has become a more expensive country in recent years, the cost of living in Thailand is not one of the reasons why I am not going to retire there. It's not one of the reasons because even though it's become more expensive in recent times, it is still a great value destination. Uh, you can still live very, very cheaply in Thailand. Uh, you know, you know, if you don't go over the top, you know, condos are, are pretty cheap there. Um, the food and it, generally everything in Thailand is quite cheap. Not all the time. Hello, buddy. How are you? Yeah. So cost of living in Thailand is not one of the reasons why I am not going to be Thai there. So what are the reasons? The reasons are a bit or more, what's the word, pedantic than that. The reasons are more pedantic, okay. So, <coughs> hello buddy, how are you? How are you doing? I'm just, just, just having a little, just doing a little vlog and talking to myself, okay? Cheers, okay. So anyway, <coughs> let's get on with this, right. Reason number one about why I am not going to retire in Thailand. The first reason is visas, okay? Now visas look like they're getting very, very awkward in this day and age. A retirement visa um, is basically 800,000 baht currently. Um, basically you put, eight, well no it doesn't cost that, you put 800,000 baht, which is about 18 grand in English money, uh, about 23,000 US dollars, something like that. You put that in a Thai bank account, leave it there, and basically you, you can retire in Thailand. You've still got to do that report and 90 day report and all that kind of stuff, as far as I know. But um, I actually think that's quite reasonable. That's actually quite reasonable. Now, there is another way. People will tell you there's another way. Well, we've all heard about it, haven't we? Oh, it's a, you know, that kind of ducking and diving way. What's the other way? That. Um, <laughs> So be, oh, quite a lot of people, I suspect, have done it this way. Those who don't have the record cash, you can get an agent to um, put the money in a bank account for you, you know, for a very, very brief while, and then you sign all the documents, and then um, they take their money out again, charge you a fee, and Bob's your uncle. Well, I don't like the sound of that at all. That sounds like the bloody... Ah, the daily way of doing things, ducking and diving, the devious way. No, thank you. You know, Arthur Daly, for those who haven't heard of Arthur Daly, go and Google that, that one and uh, you'll get where I'm coming from. Uh, what's the other character? Uh, you know, Eric Idle uh, out of Monty Python. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, saying a bar. You know what I mean? I don't like doing things that way. That seems very, very devious. And... Um, there's only one way to do anything, and that's properly. And uh, that just doesn't seem to me to be the proper way of doing it. It really, really doesn't. It, it doesn't. So I'm not going to do it that way. Well, back to the visa, the um, retirement visa of uh, <coughs> eight hundred thousand baht. I actually think that that's a pretty good deal. I do think that's a good deal because you're not paying. Uh, the government, 800,000 baht, you're putting it in a bank account, so it is still your money, and uh, you're just leaving it there, that's actually a fairly, very good deal, and I would probably opt for that, I, I would probably opt for that, somebody's throwing things down from the tree there, I better watch out, yeah, <clears throat> I'd probably opt for that reason, but there's a big but that I'm not going to do it that way, 
I'm not going to do it that way. And that reason is work. That's the second reason, work. It seems to me that if I was to offer a retirement visa and pay my money, my 800,000 baht, I would not legally be allowed to work. Even having to pay all that money, I still wouldn't be able to work. Well, that's not good, is it? I mean, I don't know if you noticed this, but I have a YouTube channel and I also write books as well, would you believe? I've written a book called Five Go to Pattaya by Edward Sweeney. It's available on Amazon KDP. It's got off to a bloody good start and the sequel is coming very, very soon. I know it's early days with my with my career as a, as a best-selling author. It's very, very early days, but I'm hopeful for that and I will be expanding on that. And as for my YouTube channel, yes, I work and I earn money from it. So I suppose it is classed as work, but it's just kind of bizarre. It's kind of bizarre that, you know, I, I can um, spend all that money on retirement visa. I suppose it is called a retirement visa. That's, that's the, the, the clue is in the name there, isn't it? But I work, what do I do? Do I bloody give up my YouTube channel? What do I do then? Do I, do I sit by the beach all day drinking beer and looking at the waves? Is that what I do? I mean, I, I work, I work, I like work. I want to continue working. I've got other ideas to work. So that's the answer. That is the proper answer that if you get a retirement visa, you will not be able to work. Uh, <coughs> you know, you'll not be able to get a work permit. But, there we go, there we go, there we go. Here's Arthur Daly raising his ugly head at, again. There is a way to get around that. Excuse me, yeah. excuse me there, sorry, sorry to bother you. There is a way to get around that, isn't there? And the way around that is to get your work permit put in someone else's name. Someone else gets your work permit and claims that you're uh, an employee or something, something a little bit dubious like that. Jesus, you know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. I don't want to do that. I mean, Jesus Christ, if I'm going to retire in Thailand and I intend to work, I don't want to be ducking and diving. You seriously didn't think that I was going to make the effort to retire in Southeast Asia and be looking over my bloody shoulder all the time? I mean, that reminds me of the bad old days of, of when we were on the dole in Liverpool and you got a bit of cash in and work and, you know, you'd have to look over the sho your shoulder to see if the DSS were following you. Remember the boys in the black stuff? What was that great line that I think it was Chrissy who said, I want to come home and with dirt on my hands and not have to hide it from anybody. That's fair comment. That's a great line. Well, I'm sorry, but if you obtain a work permit other than the official channels and do it you know in some kind of you get someone else to sign for the work permit or whatever the hell it is then you're not hiding the dirt on your hands very well so i'm not doing that you know i'm not coming all the bloody way out of thailand you know to duck and dive and do things the devious way regardless of what you may have thought i am actually very very squeaky clean there's only one way to do anything and that's properly so i'm not going to do that you know, I, uh, I, 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 I like the work that I'm doing. I intend to keep going with my YouTube channel. I'm going to be writing more books. I've already started earning money from that. And I've got a few other little ideas. And I don't want to have to hide those ideas from anyone. I, I like the work that I'm doing and I want to be proud of it. And I, I don't want to keep any secrets about it. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the second reason. So visas and work permits which are related to that kind of subject. And then there's the third reason that I will not be retiring in Thailand. And this is that God Almighty, the grandfather of all the bloody negatives, tax. Okay, 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 okay. Related to work and all that kind of stuff. Now, there's been a lot of controversy, a lot of reports, not all of them substantiated, but there's been a lot of controversy in recent times about Thailand implementing these tax laws for foreigners and all that. Now, I'm not going to be spouting details because somebody else who, um, uh, you know, is a legal expert, you know, has said his piece about YouTubers 
you know, going on about the tax implications of Thailand and they're not really qualified to be doing that and they sh should shut their mouths until they know uh, what the, uh, wh whether they are legally allowed to talk about it. Now that makes sense to me. I know a lot of YouTubers have had popular videos about the oncoming uh, doom and gloom tax situation in Thailand, taxing foreigners. Uh, if, you, if you're in Thailand for longer than 180 days, then you're going to have to pay tax. It's also possible you may have to t pay tax on your state pension if that ever comes around. And any money that you bring in from abroad, Thailand wants some, some tax from it. And I know that's, you know, that's, that's the way it is. It's very, very harsh. So, because I am not a legal expert, I am not going to go into the intricacies... Uh, the assumptions or anything like that of the tax, the oncoming tax implications for foreigners in Thailand. All as I will say, I will be flippant and superficial about it, because I'm allowed to be su flippant and superficial, and I will flippantly and superficially say that whatever's happening, I don't like the look of it. You know, I'm allowed to be super fit. It's, it's legal to be superficial. It's legal to say that you don't like the look of something. And I don't like the look of that at all. So anyway, there's the three reasons why I won't be deciding full-time, long-term basis in Thailand. Visas, work permits and tax. It's all a bit much for me. I, oh, I don't I I think it's all getting a bit hostile, you know what I mean? I don't want to be bothering with any of that. I don't want to be bothered with any of that. I want a nice, easy life without looking over my shoulder. I, I want to be totally legit. Um, I, um, I w want to work when I have dirt on my hands without having to hide it from anybody. You know what I mean? So Thailand's a wonderful country and I love it to bits, but uh, I won't be retiring there on a full-time basis. There's also other things that I can do. I tell you, I had to talk a bit louder then because there was copyright music in the background, you know what I mean? Uh, <coughs> no, no video man is complete without me banging on about copyright music. There's also other reasons, uh, you see, uh, about, about the tax, and that is that, um, I mean, oh, sorry, sorry, there's also other reasons. There's the data laws. There was controversy about a year ago, wasn't it, about filming in public? You know, you can get net for filming in public. Uh, you know, if you film other people, and oh, it's all, all get, it's all getting a bit much. There's too many rules. There's too many hostile rules and regulations, and I can't be do dealing with any of that. I just want to get on with my life and um, relax, and when I want to relax and work, when I want to work, without having to hide it from anybody. So no, I won't be retiring full time in Thailand. I won't be doing that. Where will I be retiring? Well, we'll talk about that in an, in another video. But anyway. All of these opinions in this, in this video are my opinions. You don't have to agree with me. I'm sure many people uh, won't. But this is the way I feel at a current moment in time. It's just, it's, it's, it just doesn't, for someone who's got a YouTube channel and plans on doing things work-wise and earning money, Thailand doesn't seem very retirement friendly. I suppose the contradiction is they do say about the retirement visa that it's a retirement that you're not supposed to wear. So they do say that. But, um, oh, I, I don't know, you, you make what you please of that anyway. Listen, I'm in Laos right now. I am in Laos and um, I'll be heading back into Thailand for a brief while. And I'll probably, well, I'll, I'll probably make my way into Cambodia and we'll take it from there any, anyway. So listen, thank you for listening to me waffling on. Waffling on. Like you say, I'm squeaky clean. I am squeaky, squeaky clean. And I, uh, I, I, I like to sleep well. I don't like to be ducking and diving and looking over my shoulder. I didn't come all the way to Southeast Asia to be doing anything like that. Okay? So, this is me signing off. I'll say have a great time. Um, have, a, have a nice day, a nice evening, whatever you're doing. I'm in a glossy, hot and sunny climate in Luang Prabang now. Uh, I'll have more videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching. Keep thinking positive. Peace, love and goodwill to everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.